Alchemists are one of the best teamwork classes in the game because of their huge versatility. But what are the best feats you can take for an Alchemist? Here are the top 10 feats for Alchemists in Pathfinder 2e. Starting off at number 10, we've got Smoke Bomb. This level 2 feat has the effect that if you use Quick Alchemy to make a bomb that is at least one level lower than your advanced alchemy level, you can cause it to create a 10 foot radius burst of smoke. This is in addition to its normal effects. You also get to choose the corner of the space where the bomb lands that the smoke is centered on. Creatures within the smoke are concealed to creatures outside it, and creatures outside the smoke are concealed to those within it. This smoke lasts for one minute, or until dissipated by a strong wind. A lot of people don't realize how good it is for the party to be able to run away from an encounter and not have enemies follow them. In addition, you can use this feat to set up a sneak attack from the rogue. The problem with this feat comes with its restrictions. Number one, you gotta use quick alchemy for it, which until level five costs you a reagent. And even then, you gotta be a bomber alchemist to get bombs for free. In addition, Alchemists don't have the best attack modifiers, and using this feat normally requires you to be the one to throw the bomb. If you crit fail, where the bomb lands is totally dependent on the GM. Which means, if you crit fail, this feat could be completely useless. Plus, some GMs might require you to actually target a creature with the bomb you use with this feat. And with only a 10 foot radius burst, that means you might not get every enemy in the cloud, making this useless for running away. This is an example of a good feat that just has way too many restrictions on it. And that's why it takes the number 10 spot. And at number 9, we have Merciful Elixir and Greater Merciful Elixir. These two feats have the effect that if you create an Elixir of Life using Quick Alchemy, then that Elixir of Life attempts to counteract certain conditions imposed on the drinker. I put these two together because they basically do the same thing just for different conditions. This feat has some of the same problems that the last feat on this entry has. Number one, it requires quick alchemy, which even if you're a level five Trojan, it still requires one of your reagents. In addition, it only attempts to counteract the condition in question. However, these feats have less restrictions than the previous feats. Also, the conditions they counteract can be quite debilitating. And that's why these feats are number 9 on this list. And at number 8, we have Miracle Worker. Once every 10 minutes, you can administer a true elixir of life to a creature that has been dead for no more than 2 rounds. If you do, that creature comes back to life at 1 hit point and becomes wounded 1. Resurrecting someone after dead is very, very good. Especially if you can combine it with a cleric healing them or even a Trojan alchemist. However, this feat does come with some pretty hefty caveats. Number one, you only get to use this once every 10 minutes. That's once per encounter, maybe less. Second, it only works on characters that have been dead for no more than two rounds. Which means if you can't get to them in that time, you're out of luck. Also, if you don't want them to go down again, you do have to heal them again. Secondly, this is a level 18 feat and requires a true elixir of life. Most characters aren't going to get this far. It's a good effect, but it requires an extremely high level. And that's why it's number 8 on this list. At number 7, we've got Paragon Efficient Alchemy. This level 20 uncommon feat allows you to, during your daily preparations, make three items in a batch of infused reagents, or make four if you're making items from your research fields. This gives the alchemist much more versatility. Remember that you don't have to make the same item over and over again with one batch of infused reagents. With this feat, if you're a bomber, you could make an alchemist fire, a bottled lightning, an acid flask, and another type of bomb, all with the same infused reagent. But the problem with this feat is that it's uncommon, which means your GM needs to approve you taking this feat. In addition, it has the same problem as the last feat on this list. 
it's extremely high level. But this fee is slightly higher than that fee because of how much versatility it actually gives you. At number 6, we have Healing Bomb. This level 4 feat requires you to use Quick Alchemy to create an Elixir of Life that is at least 2 levels lower than your advanced alchemy level. You grant the Elixir the Bomb trait, allowing you to throw it as if it were a bomb. If you throw an elixir of life at a willing target, you hit even on a failure, though not on a critical failure. If you hit with this elixir of life, then the target regains hit points as if it had consumed the elixir. If you critically hit, the target receives the item bonus from the elixir to saving throws against diseases and poisons for one minute. This is a great feat, especially for bombers and trojans. Instead of having to hand an elixir of life to somebody, you can throw it at them and they'll get the healing. This also means they don't have to spend an action drinking it. They can do something else. But this feat does have its downsides. One, again, you gotta use quick alchemy. And since you gotta use it on an elixir of life, that means you can never get this feat for free. You will always have to spend a reagent to do this. And if you crit fail, you just wasted a reagent, which alchemists aren't very good at strikes. But at least you hit even on a failure. The only reason this feat is so far down the list is because the rest of the feats in this video either give you way more versatility or are just better. And at number 5, we have Alchemical Familiar. If you've played an alchemist before, you probably knew this one was coming. This level 1 feat simply grants you a familiar. Familiars have tons of abilities that help out alchemists. And just like other familiars, you can change them every day. Valet really helps your action economy. Poison Reservoir can really help out toxicologists. Lab Assistant is great for all alchemists. This gives you quite a bit of versatility. However, this is severely limited by the fact that alchemists don't really get more than two familiar abilities without archetyping. So spellcasters like a witch can take much more advantage of a familiar than an alchemist can. And that's why it's number five on this list. At number four, I've gone with Extend Elixir and Eternal Elixir. So when you drink an infused elixir, you can make it last longer. You can either double it or make it last indefinitely. While these feats only work on you, you can use them on elixirs that help the party. Example, Cognitive Mutagen, but it does only work on you. So you can't use it on a Juggernaut Mutagen to make the champion even tankier permanently, and that's why it's number four on this list. The bronze for best feat for alchemists goes to Efficient Alchemy. This level 4 feat allows you to make double the amount of alchemical items during downtime. But it doesn't reduce the amount of ingredients needed to make these items. Or the rate of progress for each item after the base downtime spent. It also doesn't change the amount of items you can make with advanced alchemy. So now we can make double the amount of items that actually last more than a day during downtime. That being said, we still need the ingredients and we still need the downtime days. So that means this feat is completely useless if we don't have downtime days. And that's why it's number three on this list. At number two, we've got the entire debilitating bomb line of feats. When you use Quick Alchemy to make a bomb that is at least two levels lower than your advanced alchemy level, you can make the target make a fortitude saving throw against some conditions, certain ones, depending on the feat. If they fail the fortitude save, then they suffer that effect until the end of their next turn. You can even take perfect debilitation in high levels so that the target only avoids the effect if they get a critical success on their fortitude save. These feats are fantastic for any alchemist that uses bombs, but especially for bomber alchemists. Because starting at level 5, they get free bombs. There's almost no downside to this feat. Unlike some of the other additive feats on this list, this feat is very much worth using a reagent on. 
The only reason that this doesn't take the top spot is because the next feat on this list is fantastic for any alchemist. And this one requires you to actually use bombs. And the number one feat that every alchemist should take is Perpetual Breath. This level 8 feat allows you to choose a research field. You get to add one item of your choice on the list of perpetual infusions from that research field. This is in addition to the perpetual infusions you already get from your research fields. If you choose your own field, you get two items. When you gain perpetual potency and perpetual perfection, you get to choose one other item. There's no downside to taking this feat. It is literally just more free items. In addition, it gives you a huge amount of versatility, especially if you choose a field other than your own. And that's why it takes the number one spot. And that's it for this list. If you have any ideas on feats I should have covered in this video, or you have ideas for videos just like this one, let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Pathfinder 2e teamwork content. You can also check out my Patreon page for some cool perks. Until next time, teamwork is vital.